Hello, Andy here again from GAATech.com for another Blue Box episode. Um, today we're doing the update for the Mobius mount. Uh, it's been re-engineered, it's now lighter, easier to get the bobbins in, um, and just as strong really. So I'm not going to tip it out because my camera's in there. So this is the, the mount that you're all familiar with. So it was a pretty straightforward design and it was the initial design. But some people are finding it difficult to get the bobbins in to make sure the um, that's not the right one for the ZMR, but similar bobbins. When you're pushing the bobbins through, this top flange part was becoming twisted on the inside. So I thought, right, that needs to be addressed. Um, so we've now got the stripped down version. So as you can see on profile, it's, it is a lot different from the mount and this one is fresh off the printer so this is how it comes off the printer for me uh, and I'm just going to show you what cleanup I do and what cleanup you may have to do just uh, to fine tweak the design so basically these bits here this is just support structure and that just breaks off so I'm just going to snap it off and you get one under the rear mount as well so that's come off so that's 70 percent or of the cleanup already so the other parts you can just see just inside the mount there's a little bit of string in here um, this is not printed in uh, PLA PLA is the easiest thing to print in um, this is Colorfab XT which is a cross between ABS and PLA so there's just a few uh, snotted whatever we're going to call them there's one here just on there so i'm just going to break that off and then just going to run the file on, on over it a little bit on the side so i'm just going to use my flat of the file just to save my fingernails <laughs> so i'm just running the file over any bits of stringing that I can see. Just need a little bit of file on that corner. If you can hear a whirling in the background, it's a 3D printer printing a batch of these at the moment, so that's what the, the extra noise is today. So um, basically, that that is the cleanup. So there is no real cleanup. So you know I'm going to do most of it for you, but there may just be the odd bit of string in that you know just run a file across or a bit of emery paper, um, and that's it done. So the the Mobius fits in exactly the same way as as the other mount. But you can just see the the difference in design and difference in weight. So that's the side profile, and this is the top profile. So obviously the insides now is empty. So the Mobius will just sit inside again. So it's got the side uh, upstands here and the rear upstands. So when you're putting it on, it's not going to fall out. And then you just use your rubber band, one twist, and it's done. Push that over the shoulder. Hey presto, you can get to all your buttons. Heat sinks are going to be in free air. Lens cap is easy to get on and off. And the, again, silver foil on your lens cap or red electrical tape just makes it easier to find in your transmitter box, which you've probably got black foam in, or if you drop it on the floor, it's easier to find. So the front here, you can probably just see has a cut out round there so the lens cap goes on easy and that's it so the the mount is designed the bobbins are designed to take the ZMR250 bobbins and the spacings are for the ZMR250 the um, slots here match up with the ZMR250 however you, you can strap this mount down on any other frame um, um, 
you can either use the slots for your velcro velcro straps I sell so if you're going to velcro it on if, you, if you're not going to use your bobbins because not everyone uses bobbins then you can wrap that around your craft or you can wrap it over the side like that and the um, the uh, mobis will still fit on so there's, there's lots of different ways again it's still got ways to secure your mobius to this mount and then secure this mount to the aircraft so if you're using the bobbins and you're worried about a hard impact you've got cutouts here in which you can push a thin cable tie around you've got a cutout on the front here and you've got a cutout on the other side so this one goes through this way going down this one goes this way along the base and obviously the one at the front goes through so the idea is that when your Mobius is on there say on this one you could put a tie around the front of the lens and tie it through the, the hole there and that secures your Mobius or tethers your Mobius onto the mount and then if you want to secure the mount to your aircraft depending how you're fixing it, if you're fixing the plate on a flat surface like so you would use this mount and I have not prepared a cable tie that is a very bad plan. I think this one's a bit too thick to go in. Yeah, this is a, a thick one that's not going to go in. Um, let me just find one. I don't think that's a thick one as well. Right, let's demonstrate on this one. This 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 slot allows you to push a cable tie through there and secure it to your frame. And this is a slightly thinner slot, which allows you to do the same. So um, you can use the metal ties on the top of a bag of bread to, to loop through there. They twist together really nice, and then you can loop. A cable tie through that so lots of different options and obviously this mount here is the bit on the back so that is the the mount it is now lighter so the old mount was 1102 grams and the new one is 10 nearly so that's 10 and 11 um, when you hold it it really does feel feel different um, so that's it that's going to be in the shop um, so they are just printing off now um, that's Andy Shrimpton from GAA Tech sign off thank you very much